These cars may struggle to find buyers. Japanese exports slumping by their most in six months, sending worrying signs about global demand. Overall, Japanese exports fall 8.1 percent in July. Exports to Europe plunged 25 percent. To China, a 12 percent fall. It seems that not only Asian economies on the emerging market side, but even Japan is suffering from slowdown around the world. And, and this is very worrying. The data shows the world's third largest economy will need to depend on its own consumers to boost growth. And it comes after a fifth straight monthly drop in exports from Taiwan, a key link in the global technology supply chain. And South Korea, home to top global car, chip and flat screen producers, recently recorded its sharpest export fall in nearly three years. With Asia's economy looking increasingly fragile, all eyes are on China to keep the region ticking. But growth there has been at its weakest in more than a decade. I think that in China uh, we are bottoming out already. Uh, the stimulus that has been put in place is sufficient to give us a recovery of growth in the fourth quarter. But uh, perhaps the foreign exporters will have to wait longer to see it. Weak trade performance could add to mounting political tensions across the region, with disputes over resources and turf in the Pacific Ocean on the rise. Emotions are already running high, and economic strains risk fanning them further. Tara Joseph reporting for Reuters.